All right, now Libya continues to be on the edge. The country's United Nations-backed government has said that it has downed a fighter jet belonging to the rebel army men Khalifa Haftar's forces in Tripoli. A spokesperson for the United Nations-backed government forces has told news agencies that the army had shot down an enemy plane that was preparing to conduct air raids south of the capital city of Tripoli. The Khalifa Haftar's forces, however, have denied this claim, saying that they have lost a plane, but the MiG fighter jet was lost due to some technical failure and not because it was shot down. The oil-rich North African nation has been plunged into chaos since rebel strongman Khalifa Haftar's forces had launched an offensive to take over the capital city of Tripoli on the 4th of April. So far, the clashes have left at least about 121 people dead and 561 people wounded. In addition to ground fighting, both sides conduct daily air raids and have accused each other of targeting civilians. The Khalifa Haftar continues to get support from countries such as Egypt, in fact, Egypt's president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, met with Khalifa Haftar in Cairo. Now, Sisi has affirmed Egypt's support for Khalifa Haftar and the forces that are loyal to him. And this, of course, has raised serious questions as to who is, in fact, backing and arming General Haftar's army. And why is this entire civil war-like situation playing out in Libya? If Egypt and also the United Arab Emirates were to be backing this rebel leader who is taking on the United Nations recognized government in Tripoli, then how far will this confrontation, of course, go on? Now, in a statement, the Egyptian president, Abdel Fattah El Sisi, has said, and I quote him here, we support Commander Haftar in efforts to fight terrorism and extremist militias to achieve security and stability for the Libyan citizens throughout the country.